Let's take a look at my absolute favorite gate, especially on drums in Ableton, and it's not the gate or what they call gate. It's actually the dynamic tube in the drive and color section. So I have two loops here. One is a shaker loop, and one's a beat loop. Let's hear them together dry. Cool. So let's start by going to this shaker, and I'm gonna throw a dynamic tube onto it. And what we're gonna mostly be looking at is this bias knob right here. So watch what happens as I move it to the right. You're gonna start hearing it's gonna gate around these sounds, but what's cool about this gate is included with this gate is a tube distortion. So get to really create some awesome sounds while gating. Let's take a listen. Cool, I really, really like how this is sounding super crispy and weird, but I'm just gonna add a little bit back of the original signal by using the dry wet knob so that we still get some original shakers in it. Here's before. And with my gate. Cool, let's add another one to the beat itself. So another dynamic tube. And on this one, let's turn up the drive. Output. I like this B setting on it. Cool. Let's turn this off. And on. Cool, this sounds a lot richer to me, more like a record. Now, if I were to keep going on this, just to show you what I would do, is maybe I would put on Mr. Mango drums on the group here. And let's try putting on the lo-fi preset. Just turn down the glue compressor a little because I think it's probably too loud already. That sounds sick. And I think to make this a dope track, I wanna add, let's add this 808 sound here. And let's just put it every time there would be a kick. Oh yeah, that's gonna be hot. Let's bring this out here. And cool. Now let's put, let's see. See what this sounds like. Oh yeah, I want to reverse this. Okay, so here's a, another trick that I do often with 808s, turning into two tutorials and one on this. So I like to reverse the 808, bring it like so, maybe even a little further in. Cool, and fade it in a bit. All right, let's see what this sounds like from the top. And just like that, you get really filthy drums from two loops that weren't that exciting earlier. Let's take a listen without all these effects on it. add the gates back in. And then lastly, let's add Mr. Mango drums back in.
sake. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Come back here for more tutorials or at mrmango.com. I'll see you soon.